Hey y'all, I'm Jamie Dean. I'm back here in Mama's Kitchen. She's traveling this week, which means I have the pleasure and the honor to be here today to share a recipe with you. Today, we're doing a can't miss red snapper. This recipe comes from my Aunt Peggy. Not that Aunt Peggy, I have two Aunt Peggy's. My great great Aunt Peggy, Peggy Ort. She has a ton of million recipes that we've used. This is from my Aunt Peggy Dean. This is my daddy's sister-in-law who's married to his brother, my Uncle Jimmy. They're down in Panama City. They're from Albany. Great folks, great recipe, super easy. So thank you, Aunt Peggy, for this recipe today. We're doing Can't Miss Red Snapper. Now she says, we've got our onion here that we're gonna sprinkle along the bottom. Onion, awesome flavor, can't miss. Green peppers, and if you've watched me long enough, you know that I question the selection of a green pepper but this is not my recipe, so green pepper it is. Whose recipe is it? I've already talked about my other Aunt Peggy mom. Um, mom. Mom's still here by traveling. She's traveling soon and she's nowhere near ready to get on camera. Savannah has so many wonderful things. You go to the beach, the history, the people, the food. Mr. Russo at Russo Seafood is another fantastic reason to visit Savannah. He gets the freshest seafood from, oh, I don't know, right out there, like right there, not those two guys, but the ocean is right here. So he his seafood market is renowned, famous, and delicious. We got these four red snapper fillets from Mr. Russo, and that's what we're using today. And let me tell y'all, you think people don't eat on TV? I'm eating this today. It's gonna be delicious. Maybe pick the green peppers out, we'll see. So I've got, oh, you know what? I have to do it every week. I gotta take a little break because Teresa tells me that I have to take a break. So I'm gonna say we're taking a break and I'm gonna stand right here and I'll be right here in one minute. See y'all in a second. Hey y'all, I'm still here, welcome back. Here's our snapper. Now we're gonna dot it with butter. Dot with butter means, there's a dot, there's a dot. You don't want, want too much. We really don't want this delicious fresh snapper to be overwhelmed by too much, you know, floating in butter, but it will add great seasoning in this. So I'm gonna put like a decent kind of pat on each one. So I'll cut you one and I'll break it up. Doesn't that look delicious? Now the last thing that Aunt Peggy Dean wants me to do is dot it with Worcestershire. I love Worcestershire sauce, and I don't use it enough. My friend Skeeter at a place when my brother and I did a show in Austin called it What's This Cheer Sauce, and so that's what I call it too. We're gonna drizzle with What's This Cheer Sauce. Now this is a two-parter. This is gonna go into the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. I'm gonna keep a really good eye on this for 10 to 12 minutes, and when we pull it out, we're gonna top it. Oh look, Teresa, I had a natural break coming anyway. Teresa just told me that I really don't have to take a break unless it's over 15 minutes. And y'all know I'd never go longer than 15 minutes. I got three kids, a wife, I work for my mom, I got a million jobs. I don't have time to do a 15 minute YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, come on over to mom's YouTube channel. Y'all already know that you're here. Go ahead and click, give it a thumbs up, whatever the kids say, we appreciate you being here. 10 to 12 minutes when it comes out of the oven, Parmesan and red peppers. Woo, y'all stick around. Oh, y'all. Mr. Russo, thank you. These red snappers look fantastic. Not quite done with you yet though, baby. We're gonna put some red peppers on top of here. We're only gonna go in the broiler for just a few minutes. So our red peppers are still gonna have that crunch and that real good bite to it. And on top of that, a cup, a cup. A cup. Sunny boy, this looks delicious. Look at that, mama. We're gonna put a cup of Parmesan Whoa. cheese on top of here. And this is gonna go in the broiler for just a few minutes. Yeah, just long enough. Mama's over cheese. there. She's got her clothes on. Who but knows? I ain't got my face on. Mom might be here eating fish with us in a few minutes. Y'all stick around. Well, I'm sorry. Mama left to get ready. She stuck with me. Mm -hmm. But I brought fish. Look at this, y'all. Now, Parmesan, y'all know, doesn't melt like a lot of the other cheeses. So while this doesn't look like it's melted all the way, Ooh. I promise you it has. Look at that piece of red snapper <gasps> right there. On top of those onions and peppers with this cheese. 
This is really a great recipe. Thank you, Aunt Peggy Dean, for sharing it with us. If y'all get a chance to come to Savannah, make sure you go to Mr. Russo's, check out his selection, and no matter where you get your red snapper from, please try this recipe, you'll love it. Peeps just walk in, he's gonna eat all of it with me. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, y'all. This is Good Food, I'm Jamie Dean. I'll see y'all around the kitchen. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.